Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Nas. Y'all know what it is. I'm listening to my man, DJ Ski. As a kid, I was tasked to do a book report on an underlooked hero. My father, who grew up in Kansas City, told me the story of a baseball player that had achieved the seemingly impossible, yet that I'd never heard of. Baseball is built around stats. Cy Young's 511 wins dwarf all other pitchers. In over 150 years, only one even has over 400 wins. Yet this man might have had over 1,000. Unfortunately, we'll never know as he played in the era of segregation. Despite his talent, he was forced to travel the world looking for work and never given the mainstream attention he deserved. This often happens to the true greats. Widely known as the greatest album in hip hop history, Illmatic debuted underwhelmingly at number 12 on the chart, and it took nearly two years for it to even sell 500,000 copies. The themes of Illmatic give a glimpse into how this country has impoverished black communities, either through blatant segregation or through less overt methods happening in projects like Queensbridge. Despite lacking mainstream awareness, Illmatic became one of the only albums to receive a historic five mic rating. Its impact on culture can't be understated, and the legend of it still looms today. In parallel, Illmatic has finally received its just due over the years. And this man finally entered the major leagues at the age of 41 after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. In 1965, setting the record as the oldest professional major league baseball player at nearly 60 years of age, this man pitched for the Kansas City Athletics. Soon after, he became the first Negro League player inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I encourage you to dig deeper into the story of the man that I consider the greatest pitcher of all time. Satchel Page. What it is, Ski?